This week in post, the on one blending options and how they can save you time. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to InPost. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to talk about the on one blending options today. This is gonna be a short and sweet video, uh, but these blending options I just think are really overlooked. This is something I talk about a lot in my new video course for Mastering Light and Shadow. And one of these photos of the lighthouses I was showing you some footage of earlier this week is a perfect example of this. So here is the scene, and I've done most of my processing, done my color, done my contrast, and so forth. But I want to have this pathway darkened, right? Just the road leading up to the, you know, the, the pavement, leading up to the lighthouse to darken that path. Now, normally you'd reach for a masking brush and do some either uh, exposure adjustment or something else to, to darken that part of the image. Well, with the blending option, you can do it worlds faster. You don't need fancy masking. So I'm just going to turn this adjustment on and off for a second. You can see the difference before and after, right? And it's it's night and day. It's, it's really clear. So what's going on here? Well, first is I have a mask, but it's a simple gradient, right? Right here. As a matter of fact, I want to tighten that up because I noticed the sky was getting a little bit darker and I don't want that to happen. So I'll put that right there. So O key and let me switch my mask view. So you red so you can see exactly what's being applied. So we're only applying the effect to the bottom part of the image. Now that's an easy mask to create, right? It's more or less a single click and some minor adjustment. No painting, uh, no edge detection necessary, nothing like that. But now where's the magic come in? How come the grass isn't getting darker and these uh, brighter parts here? That's where the blending options come in, little gear menu. And all I've done is set apply to neutrals. So anything that's a vivid color, the green of the grass, the yellow of those other tufts of grass, it's not going to be touched. And I can control what's considered a neutral with the range slider. So if I make the range really big, you're going to see all that grass is starting to get dark because I'm telling the tool, consider more colors neutral. And I make it less. And if I eventually go to zero, you can see that the the, uh, the, the roadway there gets bright again. And so, so very quickly, you can just watch it creep in there as I'm moving my slider over to ever so gently until I think I end up somewhere in the 20-ish the range. Somewhere around there looks good. And now that this, uh, this is done, right? I mean, I didn't have to do any major masking there at all. I mean, from here, you just fine tune your settings. Maybe I don't want it that dark. I can raise the exposure a little bit, fine tune that so it's it's something a little more reasonable. And then before, and after. So simple masking and taking advantage of the blending options. The tip of the week is the blending options. If you were going to reach for a masking brush and do something relatively intricate, take a step back and think about are there commonalities with the tones that you want to adjust? Are they all highlights? Are they all shadows? Are they vivid or not? And perhaps the blending options can get you to your end result faster. I find more and more and more I'm finding ways to use these blending options and save myself a whole lot of masking troubles. And that will do it for this week's InPost. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Comments on the video are great. You can contact me through my website if you've got questions and share this with a friend. It's nice to see our audience growing. We're starting to exchange ideas and all getting better together, which is kind of the whole point of putting these videos out. Well, until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting. You know, we're all starting to share ideas. Yeah. I can't speak.